Good morning. This is Back to Experimentation with Planets 101, and um, I make no claims about this being successful, but I'm hoping it will be. And I've just finished creating a tool, or several tools, and refined it down to one I chose. It's a very strange looking tool. It's a bunch of bamboo skewers secured so they won't fall out of the crayons, being held by a rubber band, and taped in place, which I tap down once in a while. And I'm only showing you this because whether you can see them or not, I have put my stars in the background of my planets. And I'm going to show you, I have a lid here, I have some silver paint. Just dip that in, tap it off, add it to. I also used some gold, and I used some turquoise, but I tapped them off pretty well because stars are not all one color, obviously. I think I'm going to do that one more time. I should have set a timer so we don't run out of time. I'm going to figure, I'm going to figure that I must have known by now because that timer is in the other room. So this is my plan. My plan is to use this black gesso by Bob Ross and to use it as glue because it's matte. And as long as things, oh no, please don't blow away. Now, I've also brought myself out three brushes. I don't know which one I'm going to use, and I ought to take the animal fur out of one, because I want to be able to diffuse whatever we have in the way. Oh, look at that. It's already stuck down. So, Wish me luck. <laughs> I'm going to spread that around for right now. I'm not going to try and paint it on. I'm going to try and dip it in. I don't guarantee how this is going to work. If I make a complete idiot out of myself, I'm not going to show it to you. But so far I've showed you nearly everything except for that video where the camera stopped five times. That was no fun. Okay, here goes nothing. Oh, that's pretty on that side too. Damn. No, it's prettier on the other side. Okay, so I'm dipping. Got a good coat of black paint on there, and I'm pretty sure that we'll squeeze out any excess on the other side. Oh, please work. I'm gonna have to take the placement we get. Yep, I'm just gonna use that brush and that water. <laughs> that I brought just in case that happened. I'm going to pick that up. If it happens to me, it could happen to you. That could very easily be because there might be a little fracture in the surface of that so-called planet. But, I'm confident it will still look like a planet. But it does make me want to bring paper towels out. <laughs> and I'm probably going to run away let you stare at this for a minute. And it looks like the gesso is also softening up with acrylic paint, which is okay. And now that I know how to make stars, I can go back later and fix whatever. I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> okay. Paper towels at the ready. Let's see what we can pick up. Not much. I'm for fingers. Because usually, once acrylic is dry thoroughly, and I've let these planets dry for a few days, you know what? It is what it is. We're going on from here. I'm going to do it again. Maybe this time I'm not going to work so hard at sticking it down. And I lost that other little brush I had. I'm going to move it around a little bit just to give it a really good chance to adhere. I'm going to put a cover on that silver paint that I made stars with because I might want it again. Oh, there's that brush I was looking for. And I caught it in time so I didn't let the paint dry in the bristles, which is always recommended. Like this. I'll put that other one on afterwards. And I'm going to use that brush. I'm just going to poke and wipe off anything I see get on my brush. Maybe just move it in place. Do not know how this is going to work. This is all an experiment, but that's okay. I don't want to get paint on that brush, so 
I have some tweezers around here. Since this is a little tiny planet, I'm thinking that might be something I wish I wish I had brought out with me. I'm also thinking that I'm going to get this brush dirty and put a little paint under there. Yep. And that's what that paper towel is for. Nothing serious happening here. I would like this to work out though. I think I'm going to take that. Yep. Damp spot. Put it down right over the planet. That doesn't look bad. I'm not unhappy with that. Whatever squeezes out can be camouflaged by stars later. I'm determined that this is going to work. One side and then the other. Plant it in place. Do my tap, tap, tap. Hopefully without too much paint. Take my excess and wipe it off. Hey, it's just a shadow behind the planet, right? Just wipe that anywhere convenient. Hope I'm not too much in your way. All right, moving along. So far, so good, you know? Did I stick that down already? No, I didn't. But I did put some stars under it, which made it stick quite nicely. I've been thinking about how to do this in the best way possible for a few days, to say the least, and probably thinking about doing it before that. I think the one thing that's for sure is wet acrylic paint on top of dry acrylic paint will create a glue effect and it will stick. Because God forbid you should try and get it off again afterwards. A little tap around the edges because I don't want to have to come back tomorrow and fix that. But hey, if they look like they're floating a little bit, no harm, no foul. All right, I'm going to move that over a little bit to the side. Stick, stick my partial. I like this piece so much, I decided it was worth using, even though I couldn't make a whole circle. Okay, it's holding up pretty well. Stick, stick, stick. Let's see what that's doing right there. Yep, that's okay. So far, so good. If we wind up not finishing this, well, I'm gun camera, you get the idea. So you'll have more time than I do if this is something you want to try. And the stars went really fast compared to what I thought they were going to be. The tool is great. Just find a way to continue to tap, to tap your paint off something before you put it on the canvas. That way you don't wind up with blobs. I'm sure there's a few blobby stars out there, but I prefer them not in my universe. And that paper towel is coming in really handy. And so is that water, and so is that brush. <laughs> it's a learning experience. And I am saving you so much trouble. I say that, but you're probably fine. All right, what else? This is down, that's down, that's down. They want to stick anyway. If I want that to stick, wow. Because I don't have that much paint left on there and it's still pretty wet, I'm just going to take a chance. But I'm on a roll. And evidently thinner is not going to hurt anything. Take a different brush. Sort of like you were... Uh, Doing a little gold leafing. I have decided that it would be kind of cool to just take these lids, put some paint on them, let it do what it wants, flip them over, and adhere them like a dip in circles and see how that works. I don't know if saying it now, I'm not so sure that that's going to work perfectly well, but um, it might be worth a try. I'm going to use every bit of paint that I can see it's still wet on there before I have to deal with it being thick again. That must be an asteroid since it's a misshapen circle. <laughs> That's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. A lot of these little planets weren't planets that I poured in the video. They were created from skins 
which were the leftovers on freezer paper or dog food bags, whatever I used as a uh, non-absorbent shiny surface, because those are the best things to, oh, we got the wind coming up. Come on, planets, hang in there. I think I'm gonna do something with that sun right now. I was gonna put gold behind there so I could maybe leave little tendrils out. But I think it's too late for that. And I'm loving my paper towel. I'm so glad I went and got that. Just use your water, very little water. Yep, that works. And hey, if it's not perfect, the sun doesn't look perfect, planets don't look perfect, not really, not up close. <laughs> I'm gonna add a little more paint that I think I would really like to move around. Although you see me use them very seldom, I do have a whole slew of tongue depressors from when I started doing this. But they're so pretty, I don't want to use them and get more paint on them. I just like taking photographs of them and posting them to Fine Art America. Um, anyway, t-shirts available. Anyway, I'm digressing. This is a complicated little set of things. Okay, so I'm gonna go with, yeah, there's my partial. I make sure I had less on this time, less black matte paint. Turn that in place. And then right off with me, tap that down, hope there aren't too many holes. Sometimes there are holes. I didn't really think that all the way through, but that's okay, because it's working. And the truth of the matter is, at a certain point, oh, that's interesting, at a certain point, I can always put a matte spray finish over it, and that will help everything stick down, or so I say. <laughs> I hope so. All right. Although that worked pretty well, it also is so thin that it's drying quicker. And there goes my paper towel. Good thing I held another one down with something. Hold up paper weight. Yeah. All right. We're moving right along. Wouldn't it be nice to have all of these stuck down here? Did I do this already? Yes, I did. Oh, I am doing well. You know, I've only got a few left. And I stuck that one down. And I stuck that one down. Shadow on my planet. No water on my cloth. Just a little water on my cloth. Clean my planet right off. Everything looks like it's working out even better than I expected. Always a good thing. The only way I can think of to figure out if they're all stuck down is to like shake it, but maybe that would be bad. <laughs> so I'll just give that a miss. So I've got the edges, I've got that black spot, check that that's not a black, oh, yep, yeah, I can clean that off. Okay, you know what? That's pretty cool. Looks like we may have a few edges, but I do have matte um, pouring medium around here somewhere, and so when this is dry, truly dry, I am probably going to go and check on under the edges with my little brush and just give it a little bit of a... A little more chance to adhere, either that or I'm gonna do it right now <laughs> with something else. Everything is looking pretty good to me though. And it was so much easier than I expected it to be. But that came from waiting until I was really feeling like doing this. Looks like maybe I could clean up some edges too if I wanted to. I don't know how much I need to camouflage something. I'm calling an asteroid anyway. Okay, I'm going to climb up on my ladder, see what you can see, and say goodbye. That was awesome. Traveling through space. Without a rocket ship. Have a great day, everybody. Bye for now.